Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at this new model preview today. This is the Cyber Mastiff, and this should be one of the new models in the next box set for Kill Team. This was just featured in the recent Warhammer Community article, which talks about the Las Vegas Open online preview, which is going to be this Thursday, which is pretty exciting. And it certainly looks like it's going to cover all the games we like. Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigma, Horus Heresy, Warcry Kill Team and Underworlds. So this is pretty cool. We've got Warcry and Kill Team box sets, what, coming out early March, end of February. So we should be seeing exactly what's going to be in those boxes or at the very least the Kill Teams and the different warbands that are going to be included. So really looking forward to that. But also 40k as well. Can't wait to see what's on the horizon. With Underworlds, we usually get to see one of the warbands, so can't wait to have a look at those. And Age of Sigmar, who knows where they're going to go in that. Is it going to be a big release for maybe the Gits and the Beasts, or what we have saw in yesterday's preview? Is that going to be everything they're going to get for now? Can't wait to find out, so join me on Thursday, where I'll be cutting down all the previews into short videos, so you can see exactly what's being released. But right now, let's get back to this cool model that was previewed today. This is the RVR Cyber Mastiff, and this is a K9 unit, and if you don't know what these Cyber Mastiffs are, they are robotic or cybernetic constructs used in combat and hunting. Now, we do know these are used by the Adeptus Arbitus. We've certainly seen them in models in the past, and also with Necromunda coming up a lot of the time. There's some really cool models. I've got some pictures for us to have a look at later on. So this is definitely one more step towards confirming that the Arbitus could be the next kill team in the box set that's about to be released. Here's another image of this model, and this was shown on the Twitter feed for the Warhammer community, where they said, prepare for Into the Bark, which is not bad for them, to be fair, it's quite funny. But is this a new piece of terrain, or do you recognise this? Is it sitting on something a little bit different? Is this a little clue as to what we might expect to see terrain-wise in the next box set? But I think if they go ahead and do the same terrain we saw in Into the Dark and Shadow Vaults, I think we're all going to lose our minds. We need something a little bit different for sure. When the Warhammer community site did a preview of what's to come for the year, this silhouette was in one of their videos on their website, and so this was rumoured to be the Arbites as well. And then we saw this, didn't we, when showing us how to muster a board in patrol, it does mention Adeptus Arbitus in there, so we can pretty much expect this kill team to be the next one in the pipeline. I had a look online to see if I could grab some pictures and some information about these Cyber Mastiffs and there's some great pictures and cool models, even this one looks quite old but really good, that looks really fun, I wouldn't mind having that one in the collection, but this is epic, this is a class one, um, I don't know if you can still get this one, but it does look really good, so the model, if it's anything like this, I can't wait to get hold of it. This one's a lot more cybernetic than the one in the picture. But here's another one. This is certainly not available, I don't think, anymore. This was an old Forge World model for Necromunda, I believe. And this just looks brilliant. So they do a really good job with these models. And here's two of the more recent ones that you can get for Necromunda. And of course, Kill Team, there's the Star Striders. But this one isn't a Cyber Mastiff. But um, yeah, another good example of how they make these like dog models. I had a look for some Arbitus model pictures as well. And this is an old like kill team put together. So we can certainly expect to see something very similar to this where weapons are concerned. And at the bottom right, you can see the guy with the shield there, some kind of maul. We've got a heavy gun. There's a flamer at the top. You've got your like sergeant roll there with the pistol and a close combat weapon and then the cyber mastiff as well so maybe we're going to see something similar to this um i mean that's the usual for this we're going to get all different ones across the board with the different weapons so yeah i think this is a good image to work off here's some other older models really old ones again shotguns now this time you got a grenade launcher as well so shotguns everywhere and power mauls again so these two pictures together, I think, could give us a good idea of what we can expect weapon-wise for this kill team. And here's some more images, some artwork this time. Here's an Arbitrator, so we can see the Maul and Shield. Then we've got the Arbitus Judge, so maybe this kind of model would be included there as the leader. And then finally we've got the Female Arbitrator, so maybe expect male and female models in this pack. I had a look at the Warhammer 40k Lexicanum website just to find out a bit more about the Adeptus Arbitus and just find out who they are and how they fit in 
with the whole 40k universe, and it tells us that they're the police force of the Adeptus Terror, devoted to enforcing Imperial law throughout the entire Imperium. They're empowered to act as judge, jury, and executioner. Citizens have no rights, and only members of the Priesthood of Terror or the Inquisition could claim anything so elaborate as a trial. So that's how they're described. How that fits in with the Gallo Dark, I'm not really sure. So it'd be interesting to see how they come up with a narrative to weave that in and make it work. But yeah, really looking forward to seeing more on Thursday. But it's pretty cool to get a little sneak peek, see this Cyber Mastiff up close, and this should give us a good idea of just the level of detail we're going to get from these models and how they're going to update perhaps some of those older ones and the weapons too. So lots to look forward to. Can't wait for Thursday. So come and join me then when I'll be covering the whole event in short videos. I'll do one video for each game and work through it all so you don't have to watch the whole thing. If you don't have time, you can just watch the short video, get a recap, an overview of everything included and see what's to come for the next few months ahead. Here's the different dates and times. So for actually in the UK, look, it's the Friday the 27th. So in the US, it will be Thursday the 26th at 10 p.m. But London, UK time is going to be Friday the 27th at 6 a.m. I'll certainly be up in time for that and I'll be covering it. So expect those videos first thing in the morning. You better watch them right away. And then, as you can see there, the rest of the world is going to be Friday the 27th. Anything from 1 a.m. in New York, 7 a.m. Berlin, Tokyo and Japan, 3 p.m. and Sydney, Australia, 5 p.m. And this is all part of a week long event where you've got three day championships, but the preview will take part. Uh, take place on that first day. I'd love to hear your predictions for Thursday. What are you expecting? And let me know your thoughts on this new model as well. Can't wait to read the comments. And if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one. And I can't wait to see you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. As always, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And if you'd like to join the community and support the channel too, there's a link down in the description that'll take you to my Patreon page. It'd be awesome to see you there.